Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to a video. So today I have another dual universe Lua scripting tutorial for you guys. And so in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can create a progress bar uh, that you can use to display on your screen or either add a progress bar to your own monitor or anything else um, you want to. Uh, but in this example, I will be um, adding the progress bar to my OR monitor. Now, this is also the same OR monitor I made a tutorial on. If you haven't watched that yet, I will leave a pop-up uh, somewhere right now where you guys can go watch that if you want to. Uh, and then you can come back <laughs> and watch this video. Uh, but um, with that said, uh, let's get to it. So, I didn't really uh, pre-code anything except for I did do the first one but I will go over um, um, how to to create the actual progress bar it's really not it's really not that hard um, we're mainly gonna work in the HTML we're not really gonna change anything uh, from the OR monitor itself uh, now if you don't use my OR, OR monitor this should work um, for any other OR monitor uh, that you're using but um, if you use mine, it will be a little bit easier. Uh, but um, yeah, with that said, uh, let's actually go into the programming board. So I will press Control L, and that's the shortcut key to open your programming board if you look at it. And so now, if you scroll down, we're just going to leave all of this up there. And then down here, you guys will see I have Bioxide, or this is the first tab. And then this is where you guys uh, will see um, I have my actual progress bar. So the progress bar is basically just a progress, the progress bar tags. So it's basically um, like this. So I can quickly uh, type it. Oops, oh wait, what the hell am I typing? <laughs> progress. And then close brackets like so. Whoops. Like, what the hell am I doing? Um, and then I'm just going to copy this like so. So it's basically brackets like this. And then inside of this first one, you have a value. And this is basically where you'll put in your actual percentage of um, that specific ore. Uh, so as you can see down here, I have my value. And then to add a variable, you have to add these square brackets. So what we'll do is you'll do it like so. And then you'll do a double dots. Oops, uh, like that. And then in the middle of those two uh, dots, you place in your variable like so. Um, and then after that you make another variable called max and then this is basically just going to be like the maximum value of the um, of the progress bar so usually this is just going to be 100 so you don't really have to do anything um, uh, with this or you can if you want to you can change this into a variable as well uh, but it's not really necessary and then all I did was, um, so this is basically uh, what this is here. And then uh, in the front of it, all I did was I added uh, that same variable in front of it and just added uh, the percentage um, um, like symbol or, or tag um, at behind it. So it actually shows the percentage um, symbol. Uh, now that's about it. Uh, that you really have to do uh, there's not uh, there's not really any other special magic uh, that's basically all you have to do to make a progress bar you can make a lot a more extensive or complicated progress bars but I decided to not uh, make it too, uh, um, uh, too complicated for you guys uh, so this is basically all the, this progress uh, progress tag is actually default from HTML. So it's really it's not really some special 
uh, progress bar. Um, and then also what you need to do is if you go down here, this is if you also use the same or monitor as me, uh, all you need to do is, uh, this is actually not needed anymore. And that's, I use that for something else. But all you need to do is just add progress in your style with a background color of gray. Or whatever color you want. I did see this glitches out sometimes and it doesn't actually even apply the background color. I don't know why. Um, but um, yeah. So uh, let's quickly do it for the other ores. So I'm going to just cut this out. Like so. Now, because we already did bioxide, let's quickly do it uh, for hematite, coal, and quartz. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to paste this in here, and then I'm going to copy these in like so, and then I'm going to copy this uh, thing again, and I'm going to come over here to coal and paste it, copy this variable name, paste it there, and then copy the progress or again. I just need to see, I have, oh, oops, I have one more um, tag there, that's not supposed to be there, and then the last one is going to be quartz, like so, and then we're going to copy this and paste it in there, and so now we should be all good. So we should have a progress bar next to each of our uh, percentages on the left for all of our ores. So now if we quickly click, click apply and I deactivate and reactivate it, here you guys can see we now have progress bars for all of them. Now just to show you guys that this actually works, uh, I'm quickly going to uh, Come over here and then I'm going to add 250 more bioxide. And if you come over here, as you see, it's now 57%. And you can actually see um, the progress bar is actually filled up a little bit more. So I'm going to do this. I can do this the same for hematite. So let me just see if I have some. Yes, I have. So let me copy this. Or just. And then I'm going to put it in here. And now, as you see, we have 53% and a progress bar also um, moved up a little bit. So, uh, I think that's going to do it <laughs> uh, for this video, guys. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you guys give the video, uh, blah, blah, blah. Make sure you guys give the video a thumbs up. And also, remember to subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. And I'll see you guys in the next one.